Ancient grains promoted as a fast track for weight loss and the answer to stabilize your blood sugar. What exactly are ancient grains and are they better for you than modern ones? Right after this. ProCare Health offers easy and affordable solutions with once daily multivitamins, including our new DS and Sadie surgery formula. Increased iron, A, D, E, and K. Still just one capsule a day. Visit ProCareNow.com and use code SUSAN60 to get a free bag of protein powder with $60 purchase. Hi, I'm registered dietitian nutritionist Dr. Susan Mitchell, ex-radio dietitian turned podcaster. You're listening to the Bariatric Surgery Success Podcast, episode number 87. I'm here to help you cut through all the health hype, give you accurate evidence-based nutrition information worthy of your time and all your efforts. Simple step-by-step strategies that can change your life right now. I want you to feel well every single day. Get out there and do the things you want to do. This Bariatric Surgery Success Podcast is for you. I want to give a shout out to Acelia who wrote, I have been listening to your podcast since my surgery. I feel like I can trust you and I look forward to learning for what is to come for all of my tomorrows. Acelia, Thank you so much for putting your trust in me. My goal is to provide you with information you can use right now, today, in your future, and that's always going to be based on science. Ancient grains, promoted as a fast track for weight loss and the answer to stabilize your blood glucose. According to the Whole Grains Council, Ancient grain isn't a scientific term, nor does it have a regulatory definition. All whole grains are ancient from a broad picture as roots trace back to the beginning of time. It all depends on how the term is defined. The Whole Grains Council defines ancient grains as typically unchanged over the last several hundred years and largely intact as compared to grains that have been crossbred more recently. So modern wheat, which is bread, would not be considered ancient, while spelt, buckwheat, farro, sorghum, amaranth, teff, millet, quinoa, and others would be. But don't miss this. Whole grains, ancient or not, offer much more nutritionally than refined ones like white flour, white bread, and white rice. All whole grains contain the germ, the bran and endosperm. This is which is this is where you're going to find all the wonderful nutritional benefits. Yet whole grains, including ancient grains, really vary in their nutritional profile, in their unique properties, and their taste that you'll hear described from meaty to nutty or even a little bit sweet. So take quinoa, for example, and it's actually an edible seed related to the beet family. So the term pseudograin is more accurate. The term fits because quinoa's nutritional who's who and everyday uses are similar to grains. Its unique property is a higher protein to carbohydrate ratio. Teff, on the other hand, is higher in calcium, and it contains resistant starch, which can help lower blood glucose levels, reduce appetite, and benefit your digestion. Sorghum contains polycosanol, which may help lower cholesterol, while barley does its cholesterol-lowering work, if you will, with soluble fiber. Teff, amaranth, Millet, sorghum, and quinoa are gluten-free. So you get the idea how they really vary grain to grain. Oh, and by the way, don't miss the recipe for a super sorghum salad that my friend and dietitian Regina Rigoni developed. I'll put the link to it in the show notes. It's on the website, breakingdownnutrition.com. It's the perfect salad to take to any family or friend get together. It's colorful. It's got, besides the sorghum, it has um, yellow and green, red peppers, whatever's in season. And you can serve it in whatever portion size is needed. So whole grains from ancient to modern add more fiber to your diet, which makes you feel full 
and helps you with weight regain. So this is why you hear whole grains or ancient grains as an answer to weight loss or weight regain. And this again goes back to the feeling of satiety or fullness you get when they are whole grains. But be sure and drink water and other fluids as you add fiber to your diet through these whole grains or you're not going to like me at all. You know why? Because you'll feel stopped up like a concrete block. Remember, fiber needs fluid. Fiber needs fluid to move through your system and prevent constipation. And bonus, ancient grains also help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, colon cancer, heart disease, and inflammation, all things we can benefit from. So the next time you hear about ancient grains, remember, they're whole grains that have typically remained unchanged over the last several hundred years. Trying new ancient grains, it's a great way to increase your fiber intake from smart carbs as they make you feel full, and then they help with that weight regain too. You'll also reap the nutritional benefits from fiber to protein and the increased vitamin and mineral intake. Take care of yourself this week. I'll talk to you next week. And remember, you are worth it. Bariatric Surgery Success with Dietitian Dr. Susan Mitchell is produced and owned by Practicalories, LLC. All rights reserved. Remember, the content provided on this podcast is for information purposes only and doesn't create a patient-provider relationship. It's intended to provide reference material and is not designed to provide medical advice. Please consult your health care provider regarding any medical issues you have relating to symptoms, conditions, diseases, diagnosis, treatment, and side effects. Podcast guests express their own opinions, experience, and conclusions, which do not necessarily reflect or agree with the host, Dr. Susan Mitchell, or Practicalories, LLC.